I'm Mark Masterson, Artistic Director at South Coast Repertory. I'm Charlie Robinson, and I play Becker in August Wilson's Jitney. So, Charlie. Yes. I've known you a long time. Yeah. Because I was 12, I think, when I met you. <laughs> it must have been, because you were 22. That's right. And, right. and I, I don't think at the time I realized that you were 10 years older than no, me. No, I know. I <laughs> you thought I was around your age. Well, you hung out with us. That's you right. Know, you were always right. a good guy. Yeah. And, you know, it yeah. seemed like you were... Um, you know, getting immersed in theater, yeah. you know, for the first time, so. Well, it was so amazing because I had never done it before. What I found by doing theater as a kid was yeah. a community of people who sure. care right. for me. It's, it's so wonderful to be around people that are in this business. And you learn so much about yourself by doing it, you know. Um, that's why I, I, you know, I, I, I love it so much. <laughs> All right, let's talk about August Wilson. Okay. You've done a fair amount of August Wilson. Well, I've done piano lesson. And I played Doka Charles in Piano Lesson, and I, of course I did Fences, I played Troy, and now uh, I'm having the chance to play uh, Becker, and they are so different, and that's the thing about him, you know, he's, he, but it's something that you can't help but like about either, about both of them, right. you know, but, uh, and yet they're flawed so, people, oh, oh, very much so, very right. much so. And that's what's so beautiful about it, because in fact they're all flawed. I think know? that's true. The yeah. thing about his plays is is that everybody has their strengths and weaknesses. That's right. And they're fundamentally human, yeah. and you understand them yeah, that exactly. way. Playing um, August Wilson is just, it's, it's so amazing, so inspiring, and I learned so much from playing him. I yeah. had my own personal relationship with August Wilson right. and, and uh, I was in Pittsburgh when he was first starting out oh. and I saw this production of Jitney. I remember seeing it and, and thinking, oh, this is this guy is good. Right. What about the language, Charlie? Like, uh, you know, well, this, a, these, this play is written, it seems to me, with such a musicality. Yeah, to well, I find all of his, his plays are like that. They have this rhythm and you have to find the rhythm in the work, right? like doing Shakespeare, you just have to keep doing it over and over and over again until you find that rhythm, and it'll come to you if you keep working on it honestly. You know, yeah, I feel that if you work on it honestly, it'll come to you. But the rhythm is—it's a tempo rhythm that is not like anything else. Once you get it, learn how to fix cars or build houses or something. Get your trade. That way, you got something can nobody take away from you. Are you going to learn to put your hands to, to good use? Besides hauling people's garbage. So you've done a lot of television, you've done a lot of film, yeah. and you've now you know done a lot of theater too. Mm -hmm. And and uh, so talk about the differences between those mediums and what you like about each one. And the difference in the theater is the director and the designers and everybody have put all their work into it. And you do the previews, then you open, and then it's the actor's show. It's all yours. Yeah, you control it yourself. So that's the difference to There's me. There's no filter between you and the, and no, the audience. No, no, no. And uh, that's what's beautiful about working in the theater. It's nothing like it. You in know? a way we grew up together at the That's same right. time and then we lost touch with each other. We'll oh, someday, someday we'll work, work together, together yeah, again. And yeah. so now here it is. It's such a pleasure to oh, have you here. Oh, thank you so I'm much. It's very, very so happy. great to be here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for having me.